Hi everyone. It's impossible not to notice the explosive growth of cryptocurrencies over the last year, and especially within the last few months. Bitcoin, for example, has increased by 80% in the first three months of 2021 alone. Stocks in the UK, on the other hand, have only advanced by 4.2% in comparison. So which is better and what should we do when it comes to investing? In this video, we'll find out. I'm Anthony and as always, we're talking money. OK, if you don't already know, cryptocurrencies are the new kid on the block. There are lots of different types with different characteristics, but essentially they're digital currencies held in digital wallets. Just like your physical wallet, if you transact with somebody, then that somebody needs to know that you actually have that currency in your wallet. This is achieved by what's called a blockchain that keeps up to date the status of those wallets. Given that there are now hundreds of thousands of wallets holding bitcoins or other cryptocurrencies and millions of changes in these wallets every day, the blockchain needs to be updated every second so that it gives an accurate reflection of these wallets at all times. The complexity of doing this is immense. In the case of Bitcoin, over 160 quintillion calculations every second need to be made to keep the blockchain up to date. And this is done by more and more powerful computers that consume more and more power. Power consumption is starting to become an issue with Bitcoin's blockchain, and it now consumes roughly the same power as the whole of Ireland or Argentina. But whatever the mechanisms are, are they a good idea compared to investing in stocks and shares? Well, to answer that, there are three things we need to answer. Firstly, what do shares offer that cryptocurrencies don't? And of course, you can phrase that the other way around. What do cryptocurrencies offer that shares don't? Second, what is the risk reward profile of the two? And finally, how do we profit from each? If we can answer these simple questions, then we may be able to answer whether they have a place in our portfolio. So first things first, what do shares offer that cryptos don't? So you won't be surprised to hear that the big thing that shares offer is an income in the form of dividends. Cryptocurrencies don't, so your total return on shares is made up of both the price change and the dividend. While with cryptos, you are reliant on just the price change going up, hopefully. Cryptocurrencies, on the other hand, trade 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and are finding global acceptance as a recognized separate asset class in their own right. Next is the risk reward profile of the shares in crypto. Shares over the long term return about six to 7% per year after accounting for inflation, and this record goes back decades. That said, the risk on individual shares is notable and they can and occasionally do sink down to zero. The company can go bust, as was the case with Enron, Lehman Brothers, Woolworth, Debenhams, you can probably think of a few yourself. Even stocks that don't go bust can lose much of their value, like Royal Bank of Scotland that lost 95% of its value in the financial crash. Not surprisingly, cryptocurrencies are hugely volatile compared to shares. The Cryptocurrency 10 index that includes Bitcoin, Ether, Litecoin and others has increased by over 100% this year alone. Clearly, the rewards can be much higher with crypto, but unlike shares, the risks do not stop at the possible sudden steep reversals of price that can be up to 10% in a day. Risks with crypto that don't exist with shares include things like losing your encryption key and therefore losing access to your cryptocurrency. This happened to a poor chap in America who lost his password to his computer and in doing so has in all likely lost a $220 million fortune. Oh dear. Also, many of the cryptocurrency exchanges are unregulated where losses due to fraud or business failure will not be compensated. There are other risks, but another one that's worth mentioning is that by their nature, a cryptocurrency, like all currencies, are paired with another currency. You need this pairing to convert your fiat currency, like the dollar or the pound, into crypto and vice versa. You're therefore exposed to a currency exchange risk. A collapse in the fiat currency, like the dollar, may make your cryptocurrency gain hugely in that currency. But likewise, a collapse in the cryptocurrency makes that conversion back into your dollar or pound very expensive indeed. So the risks are very different between shares and crypto, and it isn't limited to just the volatility of the two asset classes. Finally, how do we profit from both? Well, clearly buying low and selling high is a good strategy, but seriously, with shares, most of the gain over the long term is via reinvested dividends. Have a look at this graph that demonstrates the point. Gains with crypto will be solely by capital gain. 
On this point alone, this does mean that taxation will be different on both. A gain on cryptocurrency will be treated as a capital gain and taxed either at 10 or 20% depending on your income and dependent on whether you've used your capital gains tax allowance. Share gains and income can be totally tax-free if they're held in an ISA, but if they're not, then you'll have to pay income and capital gains tax, but only if you sell your shares and take the income out of your portfolio. This really does highlight the importance of the ISA tax wrapper that protects you against all these taxes. Anyway, to profit from any asset class, the golden secret is to let your profits run and cut your losses using your stop losses. Although you can bend the rules a little bit with shares because those dividend checks often recoup capital losses over time, this definitely is not the case with cryptocurrencies. So to successfully profit from crypto, you must, absolutely must set your stop loss limits and stick to them. You can profit from volatile assets, but don't get wiped out by holding on to and hoping for a rebound that may never come. So which is better, shares or crypto? Well, for me, shares, because they offer more stability, pay a dividend, and I can understand the fundamentals better of an individual stock. But crypto may be better or might still have a place in your portfolio because you may believe that a new paradigm has arrived, but make sure you limit your downside and you may indeed profit from this new asset class too. Anyway, put a thought in the comments section and let me know what you think is better and why. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm Anthony and as always, we're talking money. I'll catch you in the next video, but until then, bye for now.